Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm working on a few videos and while I had my paints mixed up, I'm gonna keep moving. I've got a dirty table, but that's the way the ball bounces sometimes. I have Masters, well, it's Hobby Lobby Fine Touch Paints, Primary Yellow, Naphthalene Carmine Red, which is there. The Thalo Blue, Viridian, and Violet with a little bit of white added so it's not quite so dark. And then I have Artist Loft Black and White, Flow Acrylic. I'm going to give myself a little bit more black paint, but not much. And this is an 11 by 14 canvas. And this was, I've seen this done on YouTube. I don't remember who does it, but I thought I'd like to give it a try. So I'm going to put a little bit of a white base coat. I'm just going to use my hand to spread it around. Everything, all my paints are mixed one to one with Floetrol and then I add water to thin it down to get it to the perfect consistency. I do not have any silicone or OGX in any of the colors except for there was some in the purple. Use Floetrol latex base, which means it's water based, one to one ratio. Mix it up all together first and then add your water to get it to the consistency. And the consistency is like warm honey running off your stick or like melted ice cream. So I have a plastic cup. And I've cut the bottom off and I'm just going to lay the plastic cup near the top and I'm going to angle it just a little bit and just start adding some colors and just see what happens. So these paints are a little bit on the thicker side. And it's tilting, it's coming down, so I'm going to re-tilt the canvas a bit. So it's kind of like I'm doing a dirty pour within the cup.
This looks nothing like hers. I don't remember her name, but it is so different <laughs> from the one that I saw that you cannot even say it would be inspired by hers. I'm going to do some injection here, though, like uh, Elise Fournier does, just in a few places. This was not one that I saw her do, but I'm just going to inject some white in here and there. Just for the fun of it. It gives it some more unusual shapes. I like that pretty well. It's different. It's not, it doesn't look like somebody else's pour. It's just something that I created. Just playing around, having a good time. Because that is what it's all about. Isn't that correct? Is having a good time. I like the, the cells that are popping up. I'm going to go around that white a little bit. So I get some little tiny cells that just kind of pop out along the edges. And I like the bleeding a little bit of the, the white into the colors. It's just a little bit of bleeding going on, which is kind of cool. So I think... I'll call this one done. I wasted a lot of paint, but it's something different from what I typically do. I've got, got some colors coming out that I don't want there, so I'm just going to cover it with white. So here it is, and of course I'll post the picture at the end of the video where it is totally dry. I always post the dry picture so you can see that finished results the way they really truly dry. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below. Make sure to check out my new online tutorial platform Sandra led on Thinkific called Embrace Your Creative Spirit. There's a link below where I offer online tutorials. So check it out and I will see you next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.